shop wheel here, people will recognize those as more valuable than if you just polish the dial a little bit. But uh, this clock came out of the William Wrigley family. It was in their uh, archives. They had a, a museum somewhere, and they deaccessioned this clock, and it was recently sold at auction. And uh, my friend bought it and restored it. And in the month, you know, we've only up to this date seen one of these clocks. He's able to buy two of them in the span of a month. And uh, both these clocks were made in 1925. This one has the engraved dial, and we have a special dial that costs a little more. And then the next option is what they call the special grand, where we have this fancy center that's pierced. And uh, this clock is from 1908. The dial surface is original. You can see it's got a little bit of uh, abuse going on there. Somebody splashed some metal polish on it or something. But I kind of like the age look. You know, I can make it look like this at any time, but, uh, you know, I polished up the case because it was pretty bad. And, uh, but, uh, compare these three clocks here with these next three. These next three clocks are <clears throat> original, untouched surfaces. Like this clock right here is 1906. It's called uh, old brass finish. It's not the high polish. You can get old brass, you can use some new finish. And this one, 1906, it's got its original factory lacquer on it. The dial is untouched. It's just a, a remarkable clock to be untouched. You very rarely see these clocks. They usually need some level of restoration. This clock is from 1913, and the finish on this is called Green Bronze or Verde. And uh, the interesting thing about this clock, if you notice the center on this clock, is a little smaller than the center on that. The, all the 12 inch base and balls I've seen in Special Grand have that big center. Uh, up until about a week ago, this was the only known example of this with the small center. But uh, John Delaney, the uh, uh, clock dealer up in Massachusetts, uh, somebody called him and <clears throat> he's gonna buy one of these with a the small center. And, uh, this is just a wonderful clock. I just love this chocolate. You know, you got to think about the period these were made. It was arts and crafts period. And uh, arts and crafts really wasn't bright and shiny. It was more subdued. And that's why these clocks were like this. But this clock, that's the way it came out originally. It was kind of a shiny clock. So they did do that if you wanted it. <laughs> this clock is a uh, 10 inch. Uh, special grand basin ball and this finish is called satin gold it was in all the other finishes you open up the catalog and you could choose from 20 they're all the same price but if you wanted satin gold that cost extra and so uh the satin gold is a very uh uh fragile finish if you get metal polish on it, it it's kind of got a satin surface it's got some little nooks and crannies there where metal polish can get in. It's hard to get the, something off if you put it on there. And uh, this one has kind of like a green gold look to it. You know, you can get gold in different colors. And this one has kind of a green look that harmonizes with the center. If you look at this little small basin ball over here, it's got the same finish satin gold, but you can see it, it has a more yellow cast to it than, than this green one. And... Uh, this clock was made in 1922, the 25th year of Chelsea clock. And if you look at the dial, it has a it has a special grand feature, but the whole dial is silver. And that's an original surface on the dial. And But you can see most of the special grands had a contrasting center in the middle. This one is all silver, and I speculate that they did that because it was their 25th, it was their silver anniversary year. And Chelsea made a clock in 1997, uh, kind of based on the on this. They called it the Centennial Clock, and it has a special grand feature. They stopped making these special grand dial clocks in the 20s, and they revived it in 1997 and made that anniversary clock. And they, you know, it's supposed to be the anniversary clock for 1997. They're still making it today. You know, I think they're up to like. A thousand plus clocks. So, and they call it a limited edition. 
it's uh, like uh, this clock I've seen one. So this is a limited edition. <laughs> the, the modern limited editions really aren't limited editions, but they're still nice clocks. But this little area right here is uh, 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 desk set clocks. And Chelsea, you know, always had nautical background, so barometers went with clocks. Uh, but if you buy a loose barometer from Chelsea, there, you probably find one barometer for every hundred clocks. Not everybody bought a barometer. But when you bought a desk set, you got it because they bolted it on there. And uh, <clears throat> this is the largest size, eight and a half inch. And this one's unusual because it has marine flanges on it. Most of the, all the desk sets you see have this smaller uh, bezel with a bevel glass and a bubble back. This one, if you look at it, these, these top pieces look exactly like marine clocks. Now they are finished on the back, but this is the only known example in this size with uh, marine flanges. Uh, 1915, that's 1915. This is uh, the smallest size, two and three quarter inch dial, uh, 1928. This one's fully restored. That's a little gem. This one has uh, got its original surface uh, copper bronze finish, like a two-tone copper bronze, because the bezels are uh, a little lighter than the, uh, than the case, and this one was retailed by Tiffany & Company. Now this next table here has uh, clocks that uh, you might not recognize as Chelsea clocks, but they all are. And this chronometer, did you know that Chelsea made chronometers? This is a, uh, it's got a time only uh, full size marine movement in there with a whiplash regulator on it. They upgraded it a little bit, but uh, uh, it's in a box. And you might say, oh, somebody just put that movement in there. That's not a Chelsea. But on the back of this uh, tub, it, it's factory engraving. It says Chelsea Clock Company uh, improved ship's timepiece or ship's clock. Uh, patent pending Boston, Massachusetts. And then down at the bottom, they say uh, this is an eight day clock, but for better uh, performance, wine Monday, Wednesday, and Saturday. <laughs> you know, and uh, that was that's a smart thing to do. You know, because most ships' chronometers uh, run for 56 hours. They're uh, 